Welcome to our Africa Tech segment. Several economies are reopening after lockdown and so also are public transportation systems. The COVID-19 pandemic has not only changed the way we work and relate with each other, it has also affected how we move around on a daily basis. But as we try to adjust to the new normal, electric bikes have been suggested as the best mode of transportation. Tolulokwe Olukokun shows us how to make one with conventional components at home. As countries around the world emerge from lockdown, public transportation systems are back in operation. But now, not many people want to be in crowded bus stops and risk exposure to the virus. So, electric bicycles seem to be the ideal mode of transportation. They're convenient, fast, consume less energy, and of course, helps with social distancing. This is why Tululokwe Olukokun is making his own electric bicycle as a sustainable means of transport. Recently, because of the COVID-19, UK is looking at expanding their bicycle track as a viable means of transportation and as a sustainable means of transportation in order to curb COVID-19. Because people still have to move and it will make sense if the means of transportation is individualized, that is, having a bicycle will help a lot and an electric bicycle will make them travel a longer distance. An electric bicycle is integrated with an electric motor powered by a rechargeable battery helping you ride faster and further with less effort. Building an electric bike isn't an easy task, especially when using unusual components like DC motor, motor controller, chain sprockets and throttle. According to Tolu Lope, the technology is simple. The pedal assist system helps to automatically power the motor when you pedal without pressing a throttle. While the throttle, when engaged, provides power and propels both the rider and the bike forward. It has always been a challenge to handle things in this part due to a uh, lack of accessibility to different components that we may require for different projects or products and during this period of COVID-19 pandemic it has been much more impacted as there is lockdown in different parts of the world we need to source our products from. So we rely mostly on what we can have locally and how cheap we can get them. E-bikes are not new. They've been around for decades and have now become a way of life for some. But as economies reopen, many people just may turn to cycling as a dependable form of transport to fill the gap. That's where we end the program today and the week. Thank you for watching. I'm Layo Adegoke.